Expect a full house at the Staples Center tonight. The Lakers return to the court tonight for the first time since Kobe Bryant died. They're facing off against the Blazers. Fans are packing the arena amid tributes to Kobe all around the city. Our Orlando Sanchez is in Los Angeles. Orlando, this is so much more than a regular basketball game tonight. Yeah, Laurel, this is something that I've never experienced before in all my years of reporting in sports. Thousands of people have come outside here to the Staples Center over the past few days since Kobe died. Everybody just wanting to share in a moment and share some of their thoughts on Kobe Bryant. And we've seen the spectrum of emotions out here. Earlier, there were people that were just crying, that were brought to tears. Well, others just were in shock and awe still that maybe this is a bad dream and I will wake up from this. But on the other hand, and you've also had people that have been out here to celebrate Kobe Bryant and share their favorite moments. This will be a historic night as the world watches the NBA salute a legend. Located on the side of a convenience store, about five miles from downtown LA. You, you've seen over hundreds and hundreds of people coming. Um, I've met people from Japan from Texas, Singapore. People have come from all over the world to see this mural of Kobe Bryant and his daughter Gigi. They literally said they bought tickets that day to fly out here to come to this wall. Everybody remembers Kobe. I'm trying to show our kids what hard work can get you. Outside the Staples Center, a memorial fit for a king. This is Kobe town. Everybody's connected. Since Sunday, People have been paying tribute to one of the NBA's all-time greats. Items like sneakers, jerseys, artwork are piled up by the thousands. Personalized messages can be found everywhere, even on the ground. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're feeling the pain is how I'm feeling. It's an amazing thing. It's an amazing feeling, you know, um, to see the community come together. I mean, it means everything. I think Kobe Bryant has inspired so many kids, especially young women, and I think he's left such a great legacy. Kobe's number 8 and 24 fill every seat inside the Staples Center. This game is deeper than basketball. It feels like the game is secondary. You know, um, tonight's, tonight's about Kobe Bryant, and, um, you know, it's, it's going to be an emotional night for a lot of people. And it's not just the Lakers mourning the loss of a friend. The Trailblazers are feeling the pain. Carmelo Anthony did not make the trip to L.A., he was close with Kobe. All they can do is be there for each other. Having to, to face something like this, you know, with one of your closer friends, is it's just hard to do. Um, so, I, you know, we all respect his, his decision. And you don't really have time to to mourn. I just told him to take some time to themselves, and they need to think I'm here for him. But it's okay to it's okay to be sad. It's okay to be angry. It's okay to have all those feelings. The Lakers and Blazers will tip off shortly after 7.30, and there is a tribute planned inside the Staples Center. I can't even put into words what it is going to be like to be in there. Just walking in there moments before as they test everything out, Laurel, it's just a different vibe in there. The mood has changed as we get ready for something that is beyond basketball. Back to you. Boy, here